commutation process in this video we'll discuss commutation process we have already learned what commutation is commutation actually commutation is the reversal of current in a armature coil when it passes the brass segment when it pass bra pass the brass then brass will make short the coil and during this process current flow in the particular coil will be reversed this is commutation in this video we will discuss different types of commutation commutation must be as partless as possible that means our aim is to improve the commutation process so that there is no sparking so the there is there should be no chance of damage in brass as well as commutator segments number of methods are there one is called resistance commutation delayed commutation and emf commutation and resistance commutation several uh, the reversal of the current in the coil that is commutation takes place while the coil is short circuit by the brass this brass here's the figure this brass will make short coil b through segment a and b now coil b is short circuited by brass a and b that parallel path this is one path and this is another path here local path actually two paths are there here in this circuit one is carrying current i and this also carrying current i so two i current is coming towards the brass and while b is now connected with brass to parallel path so in this local circuit two resistances or two parallel paths due to contact brass between brass and segment b and brass and segment a are there two paths are there to reach current to brass to external circuit one is from coil to brass, uh, coil to segment B to brass, and another is from coil to segment A to brass. So these are the two parallel paths. So in these two paths, there are two resistances, and another resistance is resistance is there that is coil resistance itself. So in this local circuit, three resistances there amount of current through the segment a and b depends on the contact resistance between the brush and the commutator segment and the resistance of the coil so amount of current current sharing between these two paths will depend on resistance of this path and resistance of this path as well as resistance of this coil itself resistance is the key factor in resistance commutation when the coil resistance is neglected, if we consider the coil resistance is neglected, then during commutation process, during commutation process, the current will follow this curve. Sorry. This one. Uh, current will follow this nature when the resistance is neglected resistance means resistance of the coil is neglected then it will follow this nature it can be calculated it's not any empirical result it can be calculated this is called linear commutation this is called linear commutation when the coil resistance resistance is considered the curve is not linear it will follow this nature from calculation obviously from calculation this is called resistance commutation resistance commutation in fractional kilowatt dc machine that is small small machine resistance commutation provides good commutation and this is achieved by using carbon brush in this circuit car resistance is the factor and why we will use carbon brush due to carbon brush copper carbon resistance is larger as compared Compared with the coil resistance, copper carbon 
contact resistance is higher that's why this commutation this will provide good commutation but provided the machine is fractional kilowatt mode the pass contact drop is larger as compared to emf induced in the commutated coil thus com contact drop this should be obviously larger than the emf induced in the commutated coil next delayed commutation from the name it is delay some delay will be there in the commutated coil the current changes from say i positive i to negative i i see here indicating current during the commutation period tc that is tc is the time period of the commutation during the current change <coughs> in small interval during the change in small interval of the time tc and emf induced in the coil due to its self inductance only the commutation means commutation means reversal of current that is some finite amount of current is flowing say 20 ampere current is flowing from 20 ampere gradually 10 5 to 0 it will reach to 0 then from 5 10 in negative direction or in opposite direction minus 5 minus 10 to minus 20 that is the final value of the current that we that we will reach the fact is we are changing current during a very short period that is commutation period so we know when there is a change in current through any coil there should be a an induced emf so there must have some emf induced emf usually the brush covers more than one bar hence commutation coil may have mutual inductance also so as there is self inductance self induced emf there may have there may have mutual induced emf also the sum of these two emfs are called reactance voltage so this is the reactance voltage we'll get in commutating coil according to lange's law this reactance voltage will oppose the reversal of the current that is the its cause according to lange's law this reactance voltage will oppose the reversal of the current as a result of it the reversal of current in the commutated coil is delayed and consequently it lags in time compared to linear commutation so it will take longer time this type of commutation is called under commutation or delayed commutation this is the scenario of delayed commutation if the current in the short circuited coil has not reached to ic minus ic that is the minor finished initial value in reverse direction the end of commutation period there must be some sparking so it is not good for the future of um, uh, brush as well as segment your commutation commutator segment and this is the actual linear commutation this line and this is the delayed commutation here uh, we can see that at the end of commutation period there is some current so there is a chance of uh, hitting because of sparking at the end of commutation voltage commutation due to armature reaction due to armature reaction you know we are we are already familiar with armature reaction uh, due to armature reaction magnetic neutral axis shifts from geometric neutral axis geometric neutral axis and magnetic neutral axis will not lie in same axis will, as there is armature reaction the brushes are placed at magnetic neutral axis are now under the influence of main pole left behind the generator as the magnetic neutral axis shifts so brushes are no longer at magnetic neutral axis it is under the influence of under the influence of left behind uh, 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 main pole left behind the generator the coil under going commutation is cutting flux and generating rotational emf as 
the coil is short will be shorted by brush brush is now at brush is now at magnetic zone so coil is rotating hence a rotational emf will be generated this rotational emf tries to maintain the current in the same old direction consequently opposes the reversal of current or the communication process in order to cancel the effect of rotational voltage, a flux dense, the flux density in the interpolar zone should be zero. This is achieved, this can be achieved using interpoles. It's a mean, it's a mechanism to get, to get a neutral position. That means we want to neutralize, we want to neutralize the flux or magnetic field by the brush is placed. The flux created by the interpoles, interpoles neutralize the armature cross flux. If armature cross flux is neutralized, then brush will be in magnetic neutral zone. And it produce, produces some additional flux in the interpolar zone. This additional flux produces rotational voltage in the commutated coil in such a direction as to nullify the effect of reactance voltage reactance voltage that is voltage when generated in the coil when there is change in current change in current is there so it will generate some voltage and it will oppose the reversal process of the current now interpol interpol is generating some flux that will counter this voltage this method of achieving this method of achieving good commutation uh, commutation with the help of interpol is called voltage commutation all modern machines of larger size attain good commutation by means of interpols another means is here that is called brush shifting using brush shifting the brush from magnetic due to armature reaction brush is no longer at magnetic neutral zone now if we rotate the brush if we give a forward lead to the brush for generator then we can shift the brush to magnetic neutral zone or uh, actually we gives uh, the uh, forward lead to the brass for, for the generator to bring the short circuit coil under the influence of the next pole next pole of opposite polarity yes the short circuited coil is now in the reversing field same as uh, interpol same as uh, using interpol reversing voltage produced cancel the reactance voltage but there is some disadvantage the reactance voltage depends upon the armature current therefore the brass ships will depend on the magnitude of the armature current as we know the machine can be loaded with different loading different uh, machine can be done with different loading or variable loading so um, num uh, the current through armature may change frequently so frequent shift of brass is necessary for higher armature current forward lead should be higher and it will reduce it will reduce the main magnetic field as we know the demagnetizing component will be increasing interpoles the best way to produce reversing voltage to neutralize the reactance voltage is by using interpoles or compoles these are very small pole fixed to the yoke and space between two main poles they are they are owned with comparatively few turns and connected in series with the armature so as to carry the main current armature current their polarity is same as the next main pole ahead of the ahead in the direction of rotation for the generator this is the figure of the interpole this, this is a four pole generator n pole s pole these are the main pole and in between these two this is uh, a south pole it is the interpole this is north pole is the interpole this is main pole n pole and in the direction of rotation this 
main pole uh, south pole so polarity of uh, interpole should be south pole for generator here it is and the armature coil armature is directly connected to interpole winding interpole winding so armature current is flowing through interpole also function of the interpole the machine fitted with interpole have their brass brasses set on geometrical neutral axis no lead is required here as the polarity is the same as the main pole ahead for generator they induced an emf in the coil undergoing commutation which opposes reactance voltage this emf is helpful to spark this commutation the emf induced by compost is known as commut commutating or reversing emf since the interpoles carry the armature current and the reactance voltage is also proportional to armature current the neutralization of reactance voltage is automatic the mmf of the compost neutralizes the cross magnetizing field cross magnetizing effect of the armature reaction is small region in the space between the main poles it is because the two is because two mmf opposes each other in this region thank you